Welcome back. Team sports for most children is an opportunity to learn about working together, supporting one another and taking the wins and the losses. For two, for two very young teams, one from Webster County and the other from Caledonia, the lesson learned during one recent game is that sometimes being kind is the best accomplishment of all. Our Stephen Pempo has the highlights. Scoring your first touchdown is a special moment for any player, but it's usually not something that both teams celebrate, let alone draw up a play for. I just told my quarterback and center, I said, hey man, y'all fumble the ball and he's gonna pick it up and he's gonna take it to the house. I kind of brought him up to the line, I said, Junior, I said, man, if you see the ball, get the ball. We didn't care about the score, the score didn't have anything to do with it right now. All that mattered was him getting the touchdown. I like my good game. Like it's such uh, time. It might me. I, it's, he said, makes him happy. Meet Robert Watkins Jr., a 13 year old from Mabin who everyone knows as just Junior. Man, Junior, man, he's. Junior, like a, like a spark plug, man. I mean, he come out here, you know, you having down days. Man, he, that kid just brightens you up, man. He, he brightens your day up. Junior is developmentally delayed, has partial deafness and asthma, but he's also a football player for the Webster County Bulldogs. He trying to do what the other kids do. Junior's mother, Liskandra, says she was nervous at first when Junior told her he wanted to strap on a helmet and pads and join his younger brother, Zaylin, on Coach James Davidson's new 11 to 12 Pee Wee football team. I filled out the form for Zaylin. I wasn't too sure about Junior at first, but he wanted to play, so I wasn't going to take that from him. Coach Davidson had some of the same concerns. I don't want nothing to happen to him, so I was kind of telling his mother that, and she was like, Coach, you know, I just want to be normal. Him being out here with them boys would be good for him. There you go. Sign up. It didn't take long for Junior to become part of the team. While he might not participate in every drill, Coach Davidson says he's never afraid to lay a hit or dive right into the middle of a pile. He usually want to rush the quarterback. As the season got underway, Liskandra and Coach Davidson wanted to find a way to get Junior involved on game days. During weeks two and three, opposing coaches were more than happy to let Junior run around on the field with their teams after the games were over. But Coach Jason Counts of Caledonia had other ideas. The Cavaliers were up 22-0 on the Bulldogs when Coach Davidson approached Coach Counts about Junior. And I said, Coach, I said, I just, I just don't think I can agree to that. And he just kind of looked at me and I said, it don't count if it's after the game. It only counts if it's in the game and it goes on that scoreboard. And so I told him, I said, with a couple minutes left, that's when we're going to do it. We're going to let him score a touchdown. And that's exactly what Junior did taking off for a 56-yard scoop and score to give Webster County their first and only points of the game. I was on the sideline actually cheering my baby on because I'm his number one fan. If he don't hear nobody else, he's going to hear his mama. Go, Junior, go. But she certainly wasn't the only one cheering. I just want to just run up there, you know, and hug him and grab him because it was just a I mean, it felt like they won the game, you know, and, you know, into him, I mean, he did. After battling against each other for about 59 minutes, players and coaches for Caledonia and Webster County were all part of a single team as they celebrated with Junior in that end zone. It felt like we won a Super Bowl. It, I was excited. We were all jumping around. We were all jump, or huddling around him, uh, smacking him on his pads. <laughs> oh, man. It was awesome. It was awesome. And then they even gave him the game ball. Oh my, he loved that ball. While it was only week four, for both teams, it was the crowning moment of their seasons. Whatever happens the rest of this season, I mean, whether we win the championship or not, it does not matter. In my opinion, the championship was won last Saturday when this happened. For Coach Davidson, it was a reminder of the power that a few white lines on a green field can have. For just these, Two to three hours that we all together, man. For him to be one of us, run, play, jump, catch. I mean, that's special, man. Liskandra's hope was that football could give her son a few moments to experience an ordinary childhood. Instead, Junior got to show everyone that he is extraordinary. In Caledonia, Stephen Pimpo, WCBI News.